Hi. So this project aims at controlling robot remotely from any place in the world through TCP IP connection. So for this we provide video assistance. So in this project we have developed one prototype application. So that is a theft detection robot. So whenever say you have your robot placed at your uh, home and you are not in your office and you don't expect any activity at your home, then you can place the robot in a theft detection mode. And whenever robot detects any motion, then it will send an SMS alert to the user. And then user can turn on his application on Android and he can start the video feed. So you will able to see the video from the robot which is placed at your home. And then he can even control the robot like he can move it uh, forward behind right left and see the video feed at various rooms or various different angles at your home. So uh, for this the assembly required is basically you need a robot which provides motion facility, Wi-Fi module, uh, alarm support and uh, camera support. And at the remote side you need another application which again provides Wi-Fi support and some processing uh, speed and processing uh, capability. So we'll show you a short demo of this. So our robot assembly consists of Firebird 5 robot and an Android mobile mounted on it. So we have used Android mobile to provide camera support and Wi-Fi support and to establish connection with the Firebird whereas Firebird provides support for the moving capability. So this is my Android phone which I am mounting over it. So Android phone communicates with the Firebird by using this Bluetooth module. So in this uh, and at the remote side there is again an Android phone which will be able to control the robot. First you need to uh, on your Firebird 5 robot. So over there there are two LEDs glowing for the Bluetooth incoming connection. Now once the lights are glowing you need to start the application on this onboard Android. Right now I have removed it over here. So I start this application. It tries to establish the Bluetooth connection. Uh, once Bluetooth connection is established, the green LED has gone off, only red LED is glowing on the Bluetooth module. Now I need to start the server. So on pressing the start server button, it has established a TCP IP connection with the Wi-Fi server present in this room. Now we'll place this Android on the Firebird 5 robot. Now you need to press the IP of this Android on the client side. So I will have entered the IP and now I press the connect button. So it has connected. Now once I press video on button, I am seeing the live video feed from that Android phone. So basically the camera of that Android phone is sending the video to this client side Android. Now suppose if I show my hand over here. You can see my hand on that mobile phone and even I can control this robot through that using front, back, left, right buttons. Again we have an another facility called as SMS uh, alert facility. So if I press that enable SMS button over there and if this Android phone detects any motion then it will send an SMS to the registered user. So now it has detected motion and it has sent an SMS to this registered mobile saying motion activity detected. So basically this is a used for theft detection application. Hi, so I will explain how the, uh, how these uh, uh, applications are working. So here the mounted, the Android phone which is mounted on the Firebird has a, stop, has, uh, it opens a, TCP server connection which listens to the incoming connection. So this client connection, this client Android uh, application uh, uh, connects to th this client Android application connects to this uh, server application by entering its IP. Once the uh, once the uh, connection is established, so we can send the control commands over this connection for controlling the robot. So when you click on the video feed. So this will start streaming video on another port using UDP protocol from this to here. So uh, how the video is being streamed, so we, we read the raw data from uh, Android, control, Android camera and we converted this raw data into a RGB format and then we compressed it using JPEG format which is uh, being transmitted by, um, transmitted by this Android phone on this Android. 
as sagar said we have developed a simple prototype application of theft detection so this could be more extended to a professional application uh, using more complex image processing uh, a simple application would be uh, to extend it to border surveillance and security uh, using simp uh, more complex image processing and uh, further applications would include uh, mapping terrain uh, that would be uh, mapping the environment by using that bot uh, the future work would include uh, using a more reliable connection between the uh, android phone and the firebird robot using iyo uh, that's a board from spark fun and um, this would be a direct connection uh, this is the board and uh, we could we could also use the accelerometer thing for more user convenience and um, we could also extend uh, more support for uh, transferring of audio packets between uh, uh, in addition to the video packets